guys, Josh from City Fan here, and today in Comic Carnage episode 43, we're going to be looking at the new design for Red Hood that has just been revealed in DC Nation number 3. Uh, this is going to be first used in issue 26 that I believe is coming out. In do, 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 do. let me think. Uh, twenty five's coming out this month, I think August. Either that, um, I think we're getting annual two towards the back end of August, so I think twenty six is September. Uh, don't quote me on that. Check your comic book stores or their websites for that information. Um. But we're going to be talking about his new design. Um, first thing I want to say, it looks like a model combat ninja. Uh, and I'm not entirely impressed they've completely done away with the helmet. But, um, you know, I don't know. This is one of those things where maybe it'll make more sense once I've actually read the comic. Um, I don't know. I This strikes me as something that would be like a one-off use suit. Like a stealth suit. Uh, this isn't the kind of thing I'd associate with being a brand new suit that he's going to use all the time. Uh, but we'll have to see. Also, they've um, they've changed his weapons over. He appears to now have a crowbar and a katana. Not entirely too sure about that. I think that katana is drawn incredibly badly, actually. Um, it's alright from the front, but the moment you look at it from the back, it's... Katanas aren't shaped like that. Not if they're proper katanas. If they're real katanas, and someone like Jason Todd would have a real katana. He wouldn't have, like, a replica that's made within legal limits. He would have a proper one. It would have a slight curve to it. Um, but, you know, he was a member of the League of Assassins at one point. He would actually have the, uh, proper katana. He wouldn't have a, uh, he'd have a traditional one. He wouldn't have a modern reproduction. So, it wouldn't be too straight. It would have a slight curve to it. Because, uh, thing is, I'm not too sure about the US, but I know in the United Kingdom where I live, there's, um, rules and regulations about reproductions of katanas. You can't have them with a bend in them. They have to be straight. Uh, so, yeah. Also, it just doesn't look long enough. Um, to be honest, it looks more like a short sword. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Uh, but, anyway, so, this is the first page we've got on it. Uh. It shows the current rebirth design. I mean, they could have uh, they could have picked a better picture for the current rebirth design. Because there are much better pictures. Uh, then we've got a. Then we have a re. Uh, bleh, sorry, I'm currently trying to do this on my tablet, and it's a bit awkward. Uh, then we have a recolor, some new knee pads. I mean, that looks alright, don't get me wrong, I like the recolor. Uh, just take out the crowbars. Uh, but, um, you know, this recolor looks neat. I'd, I'd take this recolor. Maybe some slight alterations to the helmet, because the helmet looks maybe a little bit too small. Uh, but, you know, it's that. I, I, I dig that. that. That first image he's done is actually really good. Uh, then we get these and these top ones have some weird variations on the helmet then he gives no helmet then he goes for a more rebirth looking helmet uh, he also comes up with these gauntlets a couple of times those gauntlets look pretty cool I, I wouldn't mind him having those gauntlets on some variant suit but um as i said this doesn't strike me as something you'd use as a main suit then, like, these are some other designs he came up with, like, uh, this looks like pff, Frank Castle, but with a respray. I mean, um, that, he, he looks like Azrael. 
Ian F looked like Azrael. That's uh, I think he's drawing the wrong character there. Uh, H looks okay. I d I can't tell if that's a helmet underneath his uh, thing or if it's a. Uh, I can't tell if that's a helmet or if it's just a faceplate thing. Uh, then we've got A and B. They look all right. C is with the weapons on the back. Uh, then he decides that, you know, it needs a new emblem. And uh, the one he went with is possibly the weakest one here. I mean, this one's Arkham Knight inspired. Uh, the one above it kind of looks sprayed on. Uh, yeah, I have some very interesting looking. I mean, that looks cool, this one. I would have took that one. Or maybe, uh, or maybe that one. Those would have been my picks, or maybe this one here, that one. But I would not have taken that one. Uh, because I showed this to my dad, and his comment was, uh, it looks like a stealth bomber with eyes cut out. And it just, it's just a shape with um, some things removed. It looks pretty lazy. And also, this is the final design. Um... As I said, it looks like a Mortal Kombat ninja. I'm not, I'm not completely sold on it, but um, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, it, I I don't think by any stretch of the imagination it's the wor the worst Red Hood design ever known to man. Uh, that belongs to um, that belongs to. Hang on, let me find it. Um. No, not this one. Uh, that's actually... That's an okay redesign. That's an example of a decent redesign. Uh, that's an example of the way he should look. Uh, now, give me a second and I'll find you an example of the way he shouldn't look ever under any circumstances. Uh, uh, da -da 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 -da. This design that he had in Batman and Robin. Who the hell thought this was a good idea? That that's um, that's what I want to ask. That's the only design I've ever had an issue with for Red Hood, like a real issue. I mean, it's not as bad as that, but I honestly don't think it's far off. Uh, just it doesn't feel like the character to me. I mean. Maybe if you'd have took out the these red straps here and replaced them with that those gauntlets, it would look a little better. Uh, also, the fact it's just a t-shirt, it looks to just be a t-shirt. So I'm I'm not sure. Is this kind of like a Red Hood with all his tech taken away and his equipment? Because his weapons also seem incredibly low tech, like a sword and a crowbar. So. Is he going back to, like, his bread and butter League of Assassins training? Like, you know, uh, or is he, uh... I'm guessing it's got something to do with what happens in 25 when he fights Batman. Uh, you know, is he training back up? Or is he, uh... What's going on? Is he, uh... Also, there's a colour discrepancy here. They're black from the front, but they're grey from behind. Somebody made a mistake there putting those in, I think. I definitely think they look better with the black from the front, though. I mean, it, it's okay. Um, just, it's the ditching of the helmet that I really have a problem with. I mean, and also, what's the obsession with him not having sleeves with his jackets anymore? I, I don't get that. This thing is, one of my favorite redesigns is the Arkham DLC. Uh, design, which is, hang on, I will find it for you right now. Uh, one of my favorite redesigns of Jason Todd as Red Hood is the, which is kind of sim, that, that and the current design are kind of trying to go for the same thing that did. Um, Red Hood, uh, da -da 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 -da. Arkham DLC Red Hood Arkham DLC uh, 
this redesign. This is probably, if you forced me to pick another design for the character, uh, da, 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 da. if you forced me to pick another design for the character, this would probably be the one I went with. Uh, come on, don't be a paint. No, no, what are you, what are you doing? Stop it. This design. If I had to pick any redesign, I'd probably pick this. Simply because it's just... it. It's still a leather jacket. Yeah, it has the hood. It still has the helmet. still has the dual pistols. It has everything about the character. But it looks unique. And also it incorporates the colour palette from the really bad version. But it makes it look really good. I mean, to be honest, I was disappointed we didn't get this as a gear set in Injustice 2. I would have dug dig that as a gear set, to be honest, but we, we didn't get it. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, guys, I will see you in the next one. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and goodbye, everyone.